hey everyone and welcome back to our channel so there's this uh, tiktok video that has gone absolutely viral with over 2 million views and it's still counting so in this video a latina woman is in tears after her grandmother called her with a heart breaking question like uh, do i need to start carrying my passport everywhere so here's the thing her grandmother is an american by paper but the fear comes from uh, recent political rhetoric especially trump's uh, plans around immigrants the uncertainty has even reached someone who's american by paper so this raw and um, emotional moment has uh, struck a chord with so many people and uh, the responses have been overwhelming uh, educating people are sharing their own fears frustrations and hopes in reaction to this uh, viral video but why am i even explaining all this to you guys when i can just uh, show you let's take a look at uh, these clips and some of the reactions um it's packed okay stick around and i'll be right back my immigrant mother just called me on the phone innocently asking me if she should start carrying her passport in case they start doing mass deportations to prove that she's a citizen that's so sad this is to a message to the latinos for trump and any other republicans that voted for trump I'm going to start with the message to the Latinos first, and then I'll get to the other people. Um, first of all, I want to start by saying that, uh, you know, I, I wanted to do this video immediately after the election when I found out the results. But I found myself using words and terms that are not conducive to relaying a good message. So I decided to wait. I'm still probably going to use a couple of those words, but it's not going to be near as... Uh, bad as it would have been had I posted that original video. So, you voted for a man who doesn't care about you at all. And he's made it very clear. Whenever he talks about the immigrants and he calls them racists and murderers, killers and garbage and scum and the worst, they're sending their worst over here. He's talking about you too and me. Because to him, we're all the same. If he was walking down the street and he saw you and one of the people that had just crossed the border, he wouldn't be able to tell you apart. And to him, it doesn't make a difference. We're all the same. They don't care. They just want to get rid of the immigrants. And I don't know if you know this or not, but there's a man named Stephen Miller that's probably going to be on Trump's cabinet. He's going to be one of his cabinet members and he's going to be in charge of the deportation actions right and that man Stephen Miller wants to change the laws so that they can take away naturalization you think that that piece of paper that you have if you have it if you've become a naturalized citizen you think that piece of paper makes you different but in their eyes you're not different I was born here and I'm not different to them to those people the way they think I'm just like all the rest of them to them, I'm the same. So that piece of paper is not going to save you. And they're trying to make laws now. They're in the process of figuring out what they have to do to change the law to take away that naturalization citizenship. They're also looking into taking away natural born citizens. People who came here and had kids here that were born here, they're looking to take that away as well. Unless you were born here to legal citizens, that's the only way you're going to get to stay, if they have their way. Now, there were thousands of people on TikTok trying to warn you about that, what that man really was. I was on here, not not making videos, but I was on here making posting comments and texting people and talking to people on here and trying to get them to understand who that man really is. But you all chose to ignore it. I don't know what it is you thought you were accomplishing by voting for that man. You think that, they're, oh, they're going to see you as an equal or, you know, they're going to treat you like a white man or whatever. No, <laughs> you fucked up. They're going to get you out of here. All they wanted was your vote. They got it now. They don't need you anymore. And they're looking to get you out of here. Right. Now, I don't know how they're going to do that. Maybe somebody in his cabinet can convince him hey, it's not a good idea to deport these people. They're a big portion of our workforce. And if we deport them, the economy is going to go to shit. I don't know. Maybe they can convince him. And if they do, 
Well, lucky you. But if they don't, you are the prime target. And you voted for it. Even though we tried to warn you. So anything that happens to you, it's your own goddamn fault. You voted for it. That's what you wanted. That's what you're going to get. I have no sympathy for you. Sorry. You know, for all of you who didn't vote for him, I'm sorry that you're going to have to go through this. I, I truly am sorry. And that's my message to the Latinos for Trump. You won. Congratulations. You might get your ass deported back to Mexico or wherever you came from. Deported. Isn't it interesting how you guys are out here crying and being emotional for illegals, but yet what the fuck do you think it means to show a real ID? Americans have to abide by the Real ID Act. In order for you to get that little fucking star, you have to prove that you are a citizen. Why are you showing so much emotions and bullshit tears? Because an immigrant has to prove their status. Yet, every day, Americans have to prove that they're fucking American by getting a real ID. Think about that. Why the fuck are you crying over an immigrant? But yet you don't give a fuck about Americans. Unless your immigrant mother came to the U.S. illegally and then joined a Venezuelan gang where she's now helping them take over apartment complexes in Denver, Dallas, or New York, she's fine. Where did your mom get an idea that they're going to mass deport U.S. citizens because they weren't born here? Who said that? Has anybody ever said that they're going to deport legal U.S. citizens? So be a good daughter. Instead of sitting here crying like an idiot... Call your mom and say, hey, mom, listen, stop listening to those stupid channels and the stupid liberals that you listen to and realize that you did follow the law. You have an American passport. You're safe. You do not need to carry your passport up with you because guess what, mom? You have a state ID or driver's license or whatever it is. Instead, you chose to make a stupid video with your stupid fake cry about a story that never happened. And this is why Donald Trump won. And this is why you guys lose, because you make up stupid things that would never happen in real life. What a moronic video. Watching all these people freak out and be like, women's rights are going to be taken away. Or like, I don't know, my grandma's going to get deported. It's kind of like watch, like when you have to put a kid to bed, like a toddler, and they're absolutely convinced that there's a monster in their closet. And so they're just like screaming and flopping on the floor. And no matter what you do to tell them, hey, there's no monster, you're freaking out over nothing. They still just are absolutely convinced and you just kind of have to let them cry it out and like freak out until they don't have any more energy and then they can calm down and realize they were freaking out for nothing. I don't like Trump, but he was already president. This already happened and nobody got their rights taken away. Like exact same thing happened last time he was president. People were freaking out saying women are going to lose their rights. There's going to be mass deportations and it just didn't happen. It didn't happen. Your passport. Yes. The answer is yes. All of my children have state IDs. Um, and we're not even immigrants. Like, but uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So yes, the the answer is yes, Becca. Tell her to carry her passport. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. My immigrant mother just called me on the phone innocently asking me. If you ever think I'm going to forgive any of you, I'm not. Not only that, we're standing alone now. Because of you. Because of you. And I will never...
Okay, so first of all, let's not blame uh, this lady for her emotions or her family's issues. We don't know who she she voted for. Um, she hasn't mentioned it anywhere in, in the videos or, you know, there's no way it says that uh, uh, she voted for this one or that one. She hasn't mentioned it anywhere. Uh, this could be uh, one of the unintended consequences brought about by the Latino community members who supported uh, voted for Trump okay like the saying goes when two elephants fight the grass suffers <laughs> that is uh, from Africa anyway I don't know maybe you guys use that as well okay so unfortunately her grandmother's fear as uh, heartbreaking as it is this highlights uh, highlights the the ripple effect of uh, political decisions while there's not uh, much anyone can do to undo the fear she's feeling or undo uh, the presidency of Donald Trump. The only thing we can offer her is advice to protect her and anyone else in uh, similar circumstances because uh, it looks like uh, or it appears like her main concern is that uh, I think she doesn't want her grandmother to be carrying the passport wherever she goes. So I'm going to break down like um, eight uh, practical reasons why legal immigrants and uh, yes, even American citizens, yeah, by paper might need to carry their passports in the country where they reside, especially in today's um, what is going on. Okay, in today's what is going on in there. Okay, so. A passport is, uh, number one, it's a proof of identity, right? Yeah. A passport serves as an official government-issued uh, identification document, especially for those uh, who may not have uh, other valid IDs, okay? Number two, two verification uh, during random checks. So immigration enforcement officers or law enforcement may conduct uh, random checks in certain areas. Why this isn't common for citizens, having a passport on hand can prevent unnecessary detentions due to confusion, about status okay and number three the uh, travel readiness if someone needs to cross state or international borders unexpectedly a passport ensures that uh, they are prepared without delay okay and number four it's a uh, backup documentation for legal immigrants or neutralized citizens a passport can serve as a backup document in case their green card visa or certificate of uh, citizen citizenship is lost stolen or inaccessible okay so it's not as bad as she's making it uh, appear and number five is uh, empl employment verification some jobs require immediate verification of uh, legal status and a passport can be an acceptable accepted document under the one to nine employment verification uh, process and uh, number six um, addressing misunderstandings in areas uh, with uh, heightened immig immig immigration enforcement or anti-immigrant sentiments a passport can quickly clear up misunderstandings about a person's nationality or legal status and number seven emergency situations hospitals or government agencies sometimes request documentation for certain services a passport can help establish identity and expedite assistance yeah so i don't know if this is a rumor i came across a video on tiktok where this lady was talking about um, uh, hospitals will be asking um, anybody to present any form of identification your nationality yeah so i don't think carrying a passport around is that is a bad thing okay and uh, number eight increase the uh, discrimination or profiling unfortunately in some regions individuals from hispanic or other immigrant backgrounds may face uh, profiling a passport can serve as a safeguard to avoid uh, prolonged questioning or 
detainment. So at the end of the day, this story is a tough reminder of how political rhetoric impacts real lives. But it's also a call um, for us to stay informed and uh, prepared no matter our circumstances. So what do you guys think? Was her grandmother's fear valid? What advice would you give to someone in her situation? Let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching this long video. It's not easy. I know. I understand. But I thank you guys. And I, I don't take uh, this uh, for granted. And if this video resonates with uh, you, make sure you like, subscribe. Please, guys, I'm begging you to engage in this video. You know, YouTube is not uh, pushing my videos out there. So you guys, if you engage, I guess something different can be done. Until next time, guys, stay safe, take care, and I'll definitely see you in my next video. Stay peaceful.